everybody, this is Peter Trucalis. How are you today? Uh, great to be with you on this Sunday, kind of rainy day here in the Northeast, but, um, uh, but it's good to be with you. I had a great day yesterday. I want to tell you about our, our, our meetup in Long Island, uh, and then I'll tell you about some new soaps, uh, and then I'll shave with one of them. Now, uh, yesterday we had a meetup in Long Island. So I think it was uh, set up by Frank Misa and uh, Billy T. Um, I'm not sure who else, but um, certainly those, those two guys. And um, it was over in Long Island. So I took the ferry over from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, drove onto the ferry, which is cool. First time I'm uh, doing that. So I actually took my car, drove onto the ferry. It took like, I don't know, hour and 15 minutes to get to Port Jefferson, Long Island. Cute little town there. And then uh, I drove about, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes, uh, got lost a little bit, but ended up in uh, Belmont Lake Park uh, in Long Island. And um, most of the guys, or maybe half the guys were there already. I showed up maybe 20 minutes late. So we were up, I was supposed to start around 9 o'clock, got there about 9 30 or so. The guys are already starting to hone away. So Billy T comes up to me, gives me a big hug. And... Uh, Oh, man, it's, it's, so, it's great. I mean, I, I know we're doing more and more, and people are doing more and more of these uh, regional type of uh, meetups. Oh, man, I highly recommend it. There's nothing better than to get together with the guys and shoot the shit, so to speak, and uh, talk about shaving, or in this case, honing together, and talk about straights and how to hone, what to recognize, and different different types of uh, products and, that you can use. Uh, so that was great. I mean, I had a wonderful time. So I, I thank you for that. that. Some pictures were probably over my shoulder uh, showing you uh, just a couple of pictures. Now, let's talk about soaps. So there's a new sheriff in town, and she ain't taking no prisoners. She's the real deal. Her name is Monica Gillum. She's from, uh, she's the owner of uh, Van Ule Soaps, Soaps of the Gods. Now, uh, Ray Pope did a video maybe two, using your soaps, and uh, I think in another, uh, was David, David Gonzalez did one as well. Um, they liked it. So I have a couple, a couple tobacco scented soaps. So for you tobacco lovers, watch this video because there's some good tobacco soaps here. I want to start with, uh, this is Poppy's Pipe. And Poppy's Pipe consists of, uh, it's like pipe tobacco with a hint of vanilla. It's got some spicy notes. I know there's cherry wood in here and uh, it's kind of a, a woodsy, kind of sweet woodsy, but certainly tobacco. Now, I love the name of this, Poppy's Pipe. Great name. Um, nice tin. Um, very nicely done. Looks like... Uh, Monica, it looks like she actually takes these and, you know, when you can decorate cakes, it looks like that's what she's done. But I would imagine that actually could assist, at least in the, in the beginning of um, building up that lather with the little nooks and crannies. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't lathered this up. The scent is spectacular on this. I, I love, I, well, I love tobacco scented soaps and this is just really, really nice. Um, I like it and I like it a lot. Um, so in comparison to, let's say, um, the other day I shaved with, um, Dr. John's black label, you guys saw the lather I got from that. That was incredible. Uh, I hope I can get some, uh, a lather, uh, with this like that. Don't know. Um, but I'll tell you that the scent strength on this is, is considerably more, which is important to me. Yeah. Performance is also important. So we'll see. Uh, the jury's still out, but based upon just uh, scent and the strength of the scent, phew, nice. I like it. Now, there's another one. This one is called Puros La Habana. So this is more cigar. So it's got like uh, spicy, it's somewhat spicy. But it's more, it's certainly cigar. You get those warm cigar notes. Um, I don't, I really don't know how else to explain it. Other than, there's nothing about chocolate in here. I don't think she's added chocolate. But I almost get, almost like a hint of chocolate in this as well. This is a little bit lighter than Poppy's. 
Poppy's pipe. Now let me tell you a story about this. I had my wife. I fell in love with both of these. As soon as I uh, opened this up, I had my wife check, check it out. She liked Poppy's pipe a lot. And then I gave her Puros La Habana. She opened it up, took a, a whiff, took a second whiff. Her eyes started to water up. I said, what's wrong? And she, she got to a point where she, she couldn't really speak. She started to get choked up. And I'm actually getting the chills thinking about this. And she said it reminded her of Papacito, her father. So I'm getting choked up. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so her father passed away uh, soon after we got married. And just seeing her reaction really touched me. So I'm going to show you this today. Uh, I'm going to finish off with, uh, this is a good pairing, uh, Havana Cognac from Ginger's Garden. So sticking with that uh, uh, Cuban theme and I'm going to uh, top everything off with uh, Burberry London. This is a tobacco scented uh, EDT. Wonderful. Really, really wonderful. So um, let's shave over to the man cave. All right. So don't seem to have much of a problem building a ladder. Let's see uh, how it is on the face. It smells fantastic. Oh, Jesus. Mmm, very nice. Nice lather. Oh, using uh, Nathan, my Nathan Clark custom brush. Love this brush. With his now famous Envy Knot. Very nice lather. You can see it build, just build upon itself. Nicely dug. Mm-hmm. And I'll be using this uh, Henkel's vintage uh, Henkel's 415. So uh, beautiful. Uh, if you can see it. All right. Let's get on with the show. And by the way, there's no crying and shaving. I didn't cry. I got choked up. There is no tears that came down. Oh, this is one of the uh, razors that I worked on yesterday. I love the scent on this. I love both. Nice. 
First pass down. Very nice. Time for round two. All right, so that was a nice shave. Now, I suspect a couple things. One, I honed that yesterday. Could have been, sh should have been a little bit sharper. So I'll probably send that out for professional honing. Um, not quite as sharp as what it should be. I, I really love this the, the soap, by the way. Um, lathered well, cushiony, it was, it was, it was nice. Overall, really, really good soap. Again, I love the scent. This is pairing up nicely with Havana Cognac from Ginger's Garden. Overall, I highly recommend the soap. I really, really enjoyed it. And, um, I think this soap People are going to start talking about this soap. Um, and she's got a lot of other soaps. That's another thing. Um, some of you artisans with only a few soaps and very rarely come up with new stuff, uh, there's a new player. So um, I think people need to maybe sharpen up their game. Because you're going to start seeing more and more of Vanulae. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great Sunday, and we'll talk to you soon.